Ready? Yeah. Whoop. It's a little crooked. There you go. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. V S C. Slow pull. <laughs> Good morning. Good. Oh, scratchy morning. <laughs> Chair noise morning. How you doing? Good morning. How is your morning going? Welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow VSC Edition Virtual Shopping Channel. That's Rebecca. She's the boss and owner of the Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. That's Liz. She's the minion here, self-designated at Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> it's been a morning already. In, in Brevard, North Carolina. Glorious downtown Brevard, North Carolina with one of the only large gathering spaces downtown right outside, which was a selling point when I opened my business across the way in here. Plague times, not so much. Plague times, not so much. No. There's a Rotary Club meeting outside this morning, which, you know, they need a place to meet. Outdoors is better than indoors. We were not prepared to have to fight through a socially distanced crowd to get to work today. But, you know, it's life. So, yeah. so it's been a morning, yes, as Liz has said. Because we also had to pack, what? Oh, gosh. We, we had, had what, eight up. plus? Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yes, because I was doing math on $5 shipping and what it actually costs. But we're still offering $5 shipping because we love our customers. So, yes. Um, thank you for all the orders. We got them there. It is 930 right now. So, not bad, all things considered, right? No. All things like, considered. Could have been a whole lot crazier. Yes. Um, our, my lesson comes at 1030, so we have time. We won't hopefully take the whole hour. We have time to show you yummy stuff. Yay. <laughs> that puts me in a better mood. Sorry, I'm messing with my hair today. Okay. Once again, we got lots of boxes this week, so we have yes. yummy stuff. Oh my gosh, we have so many things in the boxes that, that I, most of what we're going to show you is either not in the system yet or in the system, but we haven't taken pictures. So you might have to wait. Um, I'll do my best in between all the craziness that happens scheduled today to get pictures and things on the website. Um, but oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and we pulled out the ultimate yummy goodness um, today, so. Yes, yes, Liz said, well, if we're going to, we should. And yeah, we did. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, we're going to start with the yummy stuff that you already know and love, but we have a few. We have a limited supply of new colors from Daydream Dye Works, our local dyer. Shout out to Emerald. Hi, Emerald. She dropped off yummies on Friday, and we just got them in the system last night, but pictures are not. So if you go to our website right now to look up Daydream Dye Works, the 9 to 5 base and the dragon base, we'll explain those in just a second to remind our viewers. Um, you'll see the names for these, but not the pictures. If you're looking like right after we film or post this, we might not have pictures up. If we do go me, I'm getting a lot done today. <laughs> so, you know, I tried to prime the pump last night. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, and I have several of these colors in my shawl on different bases. Yes. So daydream dye works. Um, we moved it. So we, we moved it. So, which, ah, that's right. It's over here now. I have to go grab a couple skeins because these don't have stickers on them yet. So we know what prices to tell y'all. But um, mm -hmm. yummy, local dyed, South Carolina, because we're as close to South Carolina as we are in North Carolina right now. So mm -hmm. um, it's still considered local. I'm getting, let's see, this it, one. It, while you're over there, I will, I will say there was one color that I was like, ooh, I should do that. But then it would throw off the the papillons and so yeah. I didn't. you almost didn't get to see a color because she would have bogarted it. But we have like two skeins of each color we got in. So limited supply. Mm. Um, but we'll get more from Emerald as we can. She is getting more of what we call the base, which is the undyed yarn to do the pretties on when she can. So, you know, limited supply. Um Yes, so there was a color that was going to not even make it on the show, but 
I would I would like to say that that Liz took pity on y'all, but it just didn't fit in her shawl. It just didn't fit. <laughs> we can pretend that it's because she loves y'all very, very much. I do love y'all. I it's do, true. I do, I do. She does. She does. <laughs> but it would have been a great addition to the show. Like <laughs> it just means later on she'll have to make another one and Emerald will have to dye her more yarn. Um, I should be very, very clear that hand dyed yarn, if you're not familiar with hand dyed yarn, especially small batch, is even like the idea of dye lots, um, where you want to get all that matches, is really hard. The same thing with feeder brook. Um, even in the same batch, skein to skein, the yarn will look different. We have, um, we have knitters who will come look at every single skein of a yarn to see which one speaks to them because they'll all look a little different. Um, so then there's different bases that she dyes on. So the, what the yarn is before the content, um, the thickness, all of that before she dyes it will be different. So Emerald's got four that we order from her. There's the nine to five, like the workhorse, working nine to five, right? That is sock weight um, or fingering weight, whichever you want to call it. For, for thin for socks or for shawls, it's very thin. So beautiful. All sock weight is fingering weight, but not all fingering weight is sock weight. It's sock content. It's sock content. Yes. yes. So when people talk about sock versus fingering, yes. Sock content has nylon or something to stabilize the wool to make it a little you know, where it'll go back into shape. It'll keep it, so it won't have saggy heels, and so it won't wear out quite as fast. Yeah. You won't wear through your heels. So her nine to five is 75% superwash merino. Most are like that, um, if they're gonna be made in the socks. And 25% nylon. It's a four ply fingering weight. So pretty. This we got more of, but this is one that we have, so I can read the price off of it. Um, but the nine to five, is it's fingering weight. It has a smooth, nice twist um, texture to it. And then she does awesome things to it. It is $29.25 a skein. And I will go through the colors that we got in yes. that. We got Prom Queen Scream. It's based off of like the 90s. All the horror. 90s, like both the horror things. Like, well, Carrie is pre definitely pre-90s. Oh, yeah. but. You know, it's it's based off of all the um, movies where you have you have high school proms and yeah. then other things. When she said, when she told me the colorway, but I hadn't seen it, I was like, "Ooh, Carrie!" It's like the camera does not do it justice. Yeah. The colors almost. It's look very like. much like '90s pop neon fun colors. It is. Oh my gosh! It's it's more vibrant than I'm we could ever. Photograph. Not a brights person, but this. But is she awesome. loves it. Yeah. Um. So we got a couple skeins of that. Got some more uh, Just Bite Me. So which... old and new, you know, they, this is pretty consistent, but you'll have lighter or darker patches. It's such a beautiful color. Just Bite Me, trans but I sh we should explain. We live in Transylvania County, so this is our local colorway, Just Bite Me, Transylvania County, Transylvania, Vampires, Bats. Yay! We, not that we really have a ton of those here, but you know, it's fun. This is the new batch of Pocket Watch. Oh my gosh, we got four skeins of Pocket Watch. I am going to Bogart one of them to make a shop sample. She I, made more I have it in my that purpose. She Liz has it in her happy on. Um, it's this. One. It's that one. I want to say the the batch that she has is a little darker. Is darker than the yeah. batch we got in. But that is the the wonderful thing about hand dyed yarn is you're gonna get what you're gonna get. They're all going to be different. And then snooze button. Oh and my gosh, I love that. Even though I'm not a, a purples fan, I can't do purples. This would have been in my papillons, but I'm already done with one. My so dilemma be. with Emerald's yarn is it is also gorgeous, and I want to make something out of every single skein of it. But we get it in so such limited quantities. It comes in and it goes out. And I don't tend to make stuff out of it because I want to save it for my customers. So that is my dilemma. She's I so sacrifice good. myself for you all every day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but I am, I am going to claim one of the pocket watches as my own. And I think I already have designs to make a Stormy Skies shawl out of it. It 
it, it looks like a stormy sky. That The colorway does, yeah. which is why I'm like, ooh, this is going to be so gorgeous. It's got navies and grays and bronzes and, oh my gosh. Um, stormy Skies is a triangle shawl that starts in the tip and, and just keeps expanding. Like a lot of asymmetrical triangle shawls. I'm sure we have the pizza slicer on here we somewhere. The pizza We're not going to look for it. I started it in a bright, in a like nice pink that was a shop colorway. And I got like this far and Liz cast bounded off because I wasn't going to do anything more with it. So we call it the pizza slice. It was, it was your airplane yeah. flying. And one, a little kid while, while we were waiting to board the plane said it looked like a pizza slice. So it's the pizza it's slice. Stuff. But it, the, the Stormy Sky Shawl, it, it has re repetitions of stripes of garter and eyelet and garter and drop stitch, like a couple different eyelets. So it, it's, um, it's pr really pretty, and I think an advanced beginner could do it. You learn the stitches as you go, and you start with, with a small chunk, and it gets bigger. So eventually. And by advanced beginner, we mean anybody who can knit or pan. Knit and purl. All you have to learn is um, some increase, decrease type things yeah. for lace work. Yeah, advanced beginner, I don't mean like advanced knitter. <laughs> I, mean, um, I mean someone who's, who's learned the basics. I'm a big fan of if you know how to knit and purl, I can teach you to make anything in the shop. You gotta learn those stitches first, but they're not hard. I have and videos if you don't on like them. purling, just knit it. You can always change it. It will look different, but Liz loves that. Not not so, so horribly different. That I is. think yeah, I think if someone is feeling comfortable with the basics and wants to just go one hop above that, I think they could do this shawl. Um, I have so many projects on needles. I don't know when I will be starting that, but it might be soon because it's here. Anyway, so so that is one base we got in. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about the other two bases that we have that we did not get more of um, today. But we have um, the BFL Tweed, which is the same thickness as this. It's a um, fingering weight. Thank you. Um, but BFL is the abbreviation for Blueface Lester, which is, uh, Merino is this type of sheep we've talked about before, but anyone joining us for the first time, feel like it's worth a reminder. It's a, it's a type of sheep with really soft wool. I have a- example. And Blueface Lester is a type of sheep with very soft wool that people often don't know about because everyone is just like, Merino, ha ha ha, you know. Um, and so we have some of that. I don't know if that's listed online yet because we have so little of it. Um, but the, what the, Liz is holding a skein of the Wish, which is DK weight. It's thicker. And um, it's 100% just superwash merino. It's just superwash merino. Um, but the BFL Tweed. These are the same colorway. The same so. colorway, but BFL Tweed, it's blue face Lester, but it also has these Tweedy caps ah. in it. And there it goes. So, and the, the Tweety flex in it kind of gray down any, any color she dyes. So, um, we also have, we have the Just Bite Me in it. Yep. I love her Tweety base. I can try to get her Tweety base up online. I can't make promises because it's not what we're officially advertising today. But this is, this is nine to five. This is the Blue Face Lester Tweed. Same colorway, same dyes. But the bases will take the oh, dye differently. differently. Yes. Um, so those are other ones we have that if I don't have the tweet online, I can try. But we don't have much of it right now. Um, we will eventually. And fall is always coming in winter. So yay. Those are very fall type colors when they're dyed on, it, on that base. Um, we did get 10 skeins of her dragon base in. And now I'm not only partial to the dragon base because it has the word dragon in it. And we are Sun Dragon Art Fiber. I'm partial to it because it's called Dragon because it's got sparkle. Because dragons are awesome and sparkly. Um, so I don't know if you can see on the camera. There's a little bit of sparkle in there. It's called Selena. There's different sparkles that can go into yarn to make it sparkle. But this is 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% Selena. It's the sparkly stuff. And um, the colorway I'm holding up is one we already have in stock called I Ask You To Be Mine. And it's 33.75 a skein. So this could be made into socks with a little bit of sparkle because it's got the nylon or having it as um, part of a shawl, just gorgeous. Anyway, 
Um, don't I you have, have like some one of these, color? I have two of them. In her Papillon, she's got a couple of sparklies. No, well, I don't have them on the sparkle. I have them on the, oh, the nine no, to five. Never mind. Never so mind. this, the the V in here. Is this one? Is this one. It's deja vu. Deja vu. I didn't know we had deja vu in the shop before. Did you get that from her? No, she sent the it roses? as a mini scheme um, to me when I ordered some, and she hadn't named it yet. And ah. and anyway, deja vu came, and it is got it's blues, got and then there's some greens. It's in like it, blue periwinkly gray. Green sparkles. Yep. And then the Ooh. other color that I have. I should mention, sorry, I'm okay. going to interrupt, is the Stellina. You can have gold Stellina or silver Stellina, and this, her base has gold Stellina. So the sparkles will be a warm sparkle, not a cool sparkle. Yep. This is how the um, bottom's up, which is this color. Oh my gosh, up. it's so pretty. It's got kind of a mellow fuchsia and a, a burnt orange. orange. Yeah. And oh my gosh, it's I think all of these we only got two skeins in. Yes, eight. so limited supply. We got Stardust. Stardust, she said she hadn't dyed this in a while, and I'm like, oh my gosh, can you just keep dyeing that for us? Like, and forever? I think this is the one she says looks like a Van Gogh painting. Yes, so it's got it's got purpley periwinkle, kind of, and then we've got some neon, but it's muted neon colors. So, yeah, it's just so pretty. And then brunch. <laughs> brunch. It's got teals and reds and pinks and yellows mm -hmm. and blacks and oh my gosh. It's very pretty. Kind of rainbowy, but a tealy rainbow, you know. And then we got back in because we've had this uh yeah. spiced autumn. Spiced autumn. Okay, so fall. fall. Yay, fall. It's browns it's and fun. there's purples and burgundies and oranges and um mm. yeah, it's just it's fun. It's really fun. So so um, Daydream Dye Works, new colors, I bet they will be going fast. I'm gonna have to take a pocket watch out of the system before people buy it up because it's lovely. Um, but yeah, anyway, so um, that was the first yarn we wanted to show you because yummy colors. We can't express often enough how yummy the colors are. And I have a list in my system this long of all the colorways we've gotten in and gone out. And I really let Emerald have fun with it. I might request a couple of colors but I usually do artist choice because there's so many pretty colors, I can't decide. And it's 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 easier on her as the yeah. dyer to have fun. To have fun. So we get we get steadies in like um, the just bite me. We will almost always have in stock if we can if we don't run out. But other ones we um, we let her have fun. And sometimes it's like, if I'm not like, when we had people in the shop and they were helping us sticker things and put them away, I wouldn't even see the colorway because it would go up and out the door before I even had a chance to look at what we had. You know, as like it. Pretties. We like, we, we like being the supplier of pretties to y'all. So, um, do you want to do the yarn or the um, notion? I want to keep with the yarn and we'll okay. do the notion at the end. I mean, we could be like, build up to the amazing yarn we're going to show you. But let's let's do yarn and then let's do notions. Okay. It's all good. The notions are just cute and fun. Let's do the fancy right in the middle. Um, you have to wait on the cute notion. Although some people can already see what it is. Anyway, so people keep going, I want to make a cashmere sweater. Or I want to make a cashmere. You know, cashmere has been, um, is always people's ooh when they think about yarn. And Liz is putting on I'm her. Putting on my uh, my collar. And and I I have my little one skein. This is called the split ribs cowl that you can wear all kinds of fun different ways. I like to wear it. Like this is one skein of the cashmere that we're gonna show off today. This is two, a black um, and a gray. It is it is very soft. So cashmere, we should say. People are just like ooh, cash. They hear cashmere, they think they think soft, and it is. It is definitely soft. Sometimes it depends on how it's spun. There's different ways that you can see cashmere. There are different, it, cashmere can come in different colors, but I've said before with, we have alpaca over there that is dyed and undyed. And you can tell the difference. The undyed alpaca is, is even softer than the dyed alpaca. And that's really soft stuff. So these are all different animals, by the way. Sheep, merino, blue face lester, sheep. Okay, alpaca is camelid. not sheep. It's a camelid. Yes, think of the long necks, llamas, camels, 
alpaca, very soft. And then there's cashmere. It's goat. It comes from goats. So when you think cashmere, you may not be thinking goat, you know, making the, and, the bleeding noises and stuff. But mm. in, in research, there's a cashmere association that decides whose goats are cashmere and whose goats aren't. So I want to say it's kind of like champagne. Right? It is. It is. There's, there's some Russian yarn that's cashmere. But because the Cashmere Association says your goats aren't oh, Cashmere. Oh, it's not the mohair people? No. Okay. They're, yeah. It's goat. They call it goat down. Yeah. Because it's so soft. So mohair also comes from goats. They it's came like from Angora goats. Angora goats. And then Cashmere is a different type it of goat. It is a different type I go to Liz for research on things like this. So different goats, but both very, very soft. Very soft. It's, it's the, there's an undercoat. Mm -hmm. And the, it's the undercoat you want. It's the super soft. Is it like when I, when, I, when I brush my cat to get his undercoat out that the vet wants me to get out, would it be soft? Uh, it's like I'm soft not, and I'm, warm and will it, oh. I am not spinning my cat's undercoat. I'm not even going to make you spin it. I'm not going to spin it. I'm allergic to cat. There you go. I so have some Angora and I'm allergic to that. And I'm like, <laughs> should I spin it? Mm, <clears> no. mm -mm. She's having fun with spinning. I think we'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah, bringing stuff. Ooh, ooh, woo. Anyway, um, squirrel. <laughs> Cashmere. So we have the, um, we have one 100% cashmere yarn in the shop. Only we, one. We have a couple we have of some, cashmere in it. We have a couple of cashmere blends. And cashmere will make, like, even merino softer. It'll be wonderful. Um, and most people, when they think of cashmere, they think of the really, really finely knit, machine knit cashmere sweaters. This is a little thicker than that. Um, and this comes in all kinds of crazy colors. But I bet, like we haven't bothered to order it, because I bet it won't be as soft as this. We, we brought in the natural colors that, um, so it's, it's soft. Anyway, um, it's by Lana Gatto. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I will read stuff. It, it is called Cashmere Light. This is made in Italy. Yay fun. Go ahead. It is uh, 150 meters or 164 yards for 50 grams. These are 50 gram balls, not 100 grams. 50 grams. Just want to be really clear on that. Um, it's, they're like, they're like a light, a light, um, it's 100 worsted weight. Cashmere, yeah. Kind um, of a DK weight. The, all the information is down the middle of the... It's like, eh. It's hand wash. Hand wash. you should realize it's, it's fancy, so it's hand wash. Um, it's European, so they probably have... Um, a size four needle is what... Or four millimeter. Four millimeter, which is a six. Yeah. A US six needle. Um, we could talk to you all about gauge if you want to know, but I don't think it's super important with gauge. It's more knowing... Um, the weight that it is, the thickness that it is, and the needle you want to knit it with. I want to say I did th I did this. You, if you want it to feel softer, you knit it on a bigger needle. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this was done on like an eight. And it's wonderful. I, don't I gotta say, this is softer than feeling the ball. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes feeling the ball is misleading. It can give you a sense, but also if it's, if it's balled up a little tighter than when you might knit it, you might not be getting a really good sense of just how soft it is. And let me tell you, it feels soft in the ball, but you might be like, I felt wool that feels that soft. But then when you knit it and you have it against your skin, it's wonderful. I made cowls for my mom and my dad for Christmas, the year that they got me um, Hamilton tickets for Christmas because they earned it. Because <laughs> it, these, yeah. Have we mentioned the price yet? We have not. For 50 grams, it is $48.50. So it's essentially $50 for 50 grams. This. $33, it's fancy dyed yarn, $33 for 100 grams. Basically $50 for 50 grams. Yes, but it's very soft. We have it in a crew like I am wearing. Liz has two off, colors on. Off, or gray and black. Gray and black. We have a lovely dark brown. It's not like chocolate brown. It is a it's medium, medium, it's a nice medium brown. And this one is called wheat. So wheat, it's but it's a lighter tan. It's a lighter kind yeah. of wheat is much more sophisticated sounding than tan. Yeah. But this one's called chocolate. But it's not like Hershey bar chocolate dark. Um I would I'm trying to think of a good 
color. It's it's a little bit more burnt than like uh, milk chocolate. Yeah, it's almost like a raw umber color. Yeah, but it's not quite raw umber. Has more of um, of a green tone to it that this doesn't have. You know, it's it's hard to describe, but it's right in the middle. You know, like the camera tends to darken things a tad. I find to what it, it is in real life. But um, anyway, it's wonderful. It's really nice. Um, I want to say I might have made my mom's out of that one. I can't remember. It's a couple years ago now. But wonderful stuff. And guess what? When Liz said, hey, let's let's show this off so we can get it online. She's thinking of y'all because if I get it online before the end of August, you can save 20%. And you can save $10 on this. And the yardage is enough to do a cowl. Like, so Exhibit A. I think I had to um, pass this off find this off a little shorter than the pattern said to, but that's okay. Still looks great. I wasn't going to get another $50 ball to finish an inch or two. You I, use two? I use two. One of each color? And it starts tiny around my neck, mm -hmm. and then it quickly goes out to like 300 stitches. And I increased, or I kept going a little bit more because I wanted to use all my black. Yeah, you don't like, want to leave. I, didn't want leftovers. to have leftovers. <laughs> Use every square inch. I, I will caution people, and it's a joke here. And, <laughs> but so Rebecca and I got the cashmere, and we made our cashmere things. And then I was like, I'm done playing with cashmere. I have to go back to normal knitting. And I was making hats for my family, too, which were Encore, so I was like, well, I'm not touching that after playing with this. Encore is mostly acrylic, a little bit of wool, so... Yeah, or I'm not going to Shetland wool, which is scratchy wool, roving gangs of Shetland sheep. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to go to the Merino, and we have the Lorna's Laces, which is soft and squishy, and it always made me happy. It did. It's a little bit scratchy after you've played with cashmere. So maybe play with the know. Lorna's laces first. Like I have my Lorna's. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and I love. Okay. <laughs> this is like some of the softest merino we have in the shop, and it's wonderful. And I had such fun making this. I'm not knocking Lorna's laces. It's you know I have to not touch this for a little while, and then this will seem like the softest thing on the face it's, of the earth it's again. It's kind but, of like eating really 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 high grade chocolate mm -hmm. and then and then go back to her she's going back to her she's it's which is still yummy and comfort food and wonderful yeah mm -hmm. so just just a note to anybody that's like ooh, i've always wanted to play with 100 percent cashmere it might make every other yarn you have feel a little inferior but give it love too. Yeah. keep playing with it because well, you know and i think it was stephanie um, who Instagram messaged me. Shout out to Stephanie. She was um, asking about the night shift cowl, which has a shifting color of yarn. She's like, ooh, I saw someone in another shop who had made out of cashmere. And if they had a stripey color changing cashmere, that's amazing. We just don't have that in the shop. We, I've, I said to someone outside yesterday, I wish the shop was a magic box where I could walk in and find you anything you want. Um, but it's only so big. It's big, but it's only so big. So I explained to her, I said, well, we have the natural colors of cashmere and it would make a wonderful shift, not a color shifting shift, but we do have bubbles of color. It would be so soft and amazing, but it would probably take more than one of these of each color. So three colors, there's a good chance you would need two balls of each. So you're talking about a $300 cow. If you want to do a, a, an honest to goodness cashmere sweater, that's fantastic. But I can only imagine um, how much it would cost. Right. Like, might be let's let's just say a ballpark figure of a thousand yards of yarn. Although this is thinner, might take more, might take less. Thousand yards of yarn, and we said this was what a hundred, hundred and sixty-four yards. I could do some math on that, but in my head, but you all would be sitting here going do do do. Um, yeah, it. Hang on, divided by one, one and a half. You would need about six balls of this, which is the same as the um, the same as the cowl. 
because you'd have leftovers from the kelp. So you'd need at least six balls. So we're talking about a $300 slip for starters. And it depends, you might need more. Anyway, but hey, um, you, you could save 20% if you order it with us right now. Um, I will say we get in a box of these at a time, about 10 balls, and we only keep one on display in the shop. They are not just stacked up in a bin in the shop. They are in reserve because they're $50 a ball. So you'd have to, when I get it online, you can see how much we have of each color. We can always order you more. If you went online and said, ooh, I, I saw Lana Gato has this wonderful red. I really want that. I could order it for you, but you'd need to make it worth the effort to order a whole box. They come in 10. I can't just order one. So you can have a lovely red ball of Lana Gato to play with. You would have to be, um, you would have to need at least, I would say seven skeins for me to order a box for you. But then you have a box. Order all 10. Hey, save some money. Um, if you want, I will put this out there because it won't be on the online shop. If you want a whole box of a different color than we carry of the Lana Gato, 10 skeins, contact me because it won't be on the shop site for you to order and apply the code to. I will offer you the 20% off this month. So you'd have to do some legwork or we'd have to do it together. But if you want a whole box, I'll give you 20% off, you know. Because it's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So um, we need to wrap up. So we have to get to our notion. I ordered um, a bunch of these from Bryson because they I thought they were cute and they came in even cuter than usual. We we've we've carried them for a while. Yeah. And, and now every so batch cute. is different. Every batch is different. This is the problem. So here what are you talking about? Come on, dude. Um we are talking about, you want to take the pandas, or, or these are your colors. I, but, you I, I like those. I was going to get one of the old ones so I could read stuff. Oh, oops. Um, the, I changed the price okay. ever so slightly. I, 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 it's thirteen ninety five. Yeah, so it's almost the same. I changed it to thirteen ninety five. So for thirteen ninety five, She had another number there, which was like almost the same. Um, um, these are called yarn cozies. She's about to read what's on the back of them. I don't have one in action right now. I'm, I bet there's one somewhere in the shop, but we didn't dig them out. You get a set of three of these things called yarn cozies. Big or small, yarn cozies snuggle your yarn. Keeps your yarn clean and safe from curious pets. Keeps it tangle free all the way through your project. Works with inside and outside pole balls. I find inside tends to work a little bit better than outside. Most of our knitters do too. On the, the these. Mm -hmm. um, stretches around your yarn and heads down to the last wee bit. I particularly like them for linen mm -hmm. or cottons that are going to start crumbling the, yes. the, the ball or the cake. Balls that don't keep their shape very well. These are like socks. These are like socks for your yarn. So um, if you have like one of the oblong balls, that's the picture that's on it, is one of the oblong balls that we might sell in the shop. Or if you have a cake that you're worried is gonna deflate or fall apart. It doesn't work with really big um, skeins of yarn. But once it's in a, um, a ball or cake, more cake format, because you could put it in there as a ball and yank from the outside. But it's more if you're doing a center pull. This will keep it intact and untangled and you know, you, you, there cute. is always potential for yarn bark with center poles, but this keeps everything from collapsing. Mm -hmm. It like, keeps it all in one spot. Yeah, with the cairns, I love the cairns. It's a cotton. It comes in a ball, but when you start working with it, the the cotton does not want to stay on the ball, so it kind of goes. Bleh. So you're getting the, it's about um, it's a little more than four fifty per one of these for the set of three. It's thirteen ninety five. Um, and every time we order, they come in differently. And I haven't ordered in a while. So, like, we had all of these little bunnies. Super cute. We you had know. purple bunnies and pink bunnies. And, and, and periwinkle blue, bunny, blue bunnies. bunnies. And we had a stripe. Oh. Yeah, those are the ones we had. And we were getting different variations of these. And we the, had ladybugs. We've gotten so many different random. I will, I will do my best to list these online by the what's on them or the general construction like the stripe or the bunny but we won't be able to fill fulfill your order in that i want the green bunnies i mean you could request that if you buy them online 
but if we don't have any green bunnies left, these are the new ones, um, we can't give you a green bunny. We can give you a bunny. If, if it says there's bunnies in stock, I'm gonna have to itemize these slightly, but I can't itemize these in terms of what's on them and the background color. That's too much, I'm sorry. So, but, but all the bunnies are cute in my opinion. We got our first batch of pandas. pandas. Oh my God, those are cute. And all the pandas look the same. What I'll try to do at least um, for the initial batch that goes up is, is have all the colors of one item so you can see the variety. But again, we can't promise that we can get you the very specific color that you want. Cherries, they're stripes, but there's cherries. So I'm gonna call them cherries when I put them online. This is part of what, we'll see if I get this done by the end of the day. And today. Rebecca's holding my try. favorite, which I'm gonna yeah. bogart, by the way. Hearts. We have more than one. Don't look at me like that. You knew it was coming. You're not gonna bogart all of them. You're no, I'm just to, getting one. Pack. One of them will be hers before one. like the end of the day, probably. But they're hearts, but they're winged hearts on, and it's black. It's black with little other little so hearts. I will probably order more of these like in the next week just to see what we get. Cause I didn't know, yeah. you don't know what you're gonna get and it's fun. They, so. they grab a random assortment mm -hmm. and just so, like throw them in. There should be more up by next week. Again, I'm trying to get in as much as I can for y'all before the end of August, but I cannot put the whole shop online before the end of August. But you can save 20% online with the code wow three years through the end of august ah, okay casually i might so keep this on today oh my warm. gosh like i'm a little chilly without it but i'm getting a little warm with it i only have one skein on so i'm not overheated i also run a different temperature than this but um yeah it, it's it's almost shawl weather today so yeah well okay so we're gonna have to go because I also need to get up my morning meditation, um, my stitch meditation. I did that this morning, and then we had so many packages, I came in before I edited it. Edited did it. it. Um, so we got a lot to do. But I'm gonna do my best, at least in the next couple of days. Everything we just talked about, we will get up online. I gotta take pictures. Um, I have to make the listings. I have to get inventory in the system. And we have to get this video out to you. So, magic yeah. wand. We the it's gonna take a Tuesday. Minutes. We figured we'd be able to get everything we needed to get done. <laughs> and we got like three packages, <laughs> actually four, I think. And um, some of them were shop organizing thing. We got more of our blue bags back in. So I want to fill know. that hole, but we got we got our blue bags bags back in. Locals, yay! And, and I'm so sad we'd run out of our blue. That bags. requires stickering the bags to hang up on the, the bar. Not that and we're complaining. We're just letting you know that we're hard a at lot. work here. And, and Rebecca was like, oh, I can get all this stuff in the system from Friday. And there were Vikings. And Vikings laid siege yes, they did. And so, and then all the online orders, and we thank you very, very, very much for all your love and support. We're working our butts off over here. It's I'm awesome. But the Vikings out front, they don't pay much attention to the incoming online orders. They're like, and, but, but, but we're the only people here. There. So why can't, what? And it's like, but they keep coming. <laughs> Which again, we thank, thank you, you for. so much. But a little tired. So anyway, that's why it might take her a couple of days to get pictures and inventory in the system. I'll, I'll and, work on yeah. it though. We don't have knit night tonight. I love knit night last night, but it means yeah. no inventory is in the system for the, what, five or six boxes we got in yesterday. So that's on my. I don't even know what's in one of the boxes because we never <laughs> opened it. Oh no! Which one did you not open? The the um the euro one from my house. Your oh yeah. Oh, I and I haven't one. looked in the I haven't looked in the one that came to your house. So partly because I just really don't want to know what I have to. So when you all come back in the shop, you know when all <laughs> this is over and life goes back to whatever normal is going to come when out. When we on the settle other side, into our new normal. Um. There's a good possibility that nobody's going to be able to reach all the yarn in the shop because we might have to go higher. I really don't want to go, go higher. higher. But, um, She's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, uh, maybe. So anyway, moving on. Oh, look, the sun's <laughs> coming out. It's ta -da, that's a stay tuned. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
So anyway, um, we're going to go get stuff done. I'm going to stop touching my face. And um, currently, we don't have any letters for tomorrow, which is okay. It means they're all still stuck in the mail somewhere, right? Anyway, so um, we might just have, I might just have to get some progress done tonight to show y'all. I, I I have better non-knitting. I need, I need to finish this. I'm so close, but I got fun things yesterday. If you want us to, yes. Oh, 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 that's what we'll talk about tomorrow. There's no letters. Okay, cool. We have something to talk about. If you want us to wax philosophical on your ponderings and questions, please mail them to us. Make up a fun little signature if you want to, but don't let that keep you from writing. Yeah. Like write us regardless at Dear Becky and Lizzie. Remember, Becky and Lizzie is only our Thursday name. Rebecca and Liz the rest of the time. <laughs> Dear Becky and Lizzie, Sun Dragon Art and Fiber, 35 South Broad Street, Brevard, North Carolina. 28712. So I don't say it wrong. <laughs> okay. And if you really, 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 really have a question, and, and you can't you, wait, and you don't want to mail it, and you don't have a stamp so or whatever. Um, or an envelope, although or an envelope. We, we know someone who can make you an envelope. Yes. <laughs> you can email me at liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same as Rebecca at Sundragon, only it's Liz at Sundragon. So, anyway. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> we do. We love you all. We miss you, even if we haven't met you before. That's Liz's TARDIS. It is not a dra uh, um, T Rex. People think it's a dinosaur. Or it's TARDIS. Doctor Who fans, yay, TARDIS inside Liz's dress. <laughs> we love our Sun Dragon community. Like I was saying, even if we haven't met you, you are a member of the community because you're watching. So please subscribe if you haven't, because oh my gosh, we're at 401 subscribers at least, and that's so exciting. We're going to keep being excited by that. Um, and share it with people you think might want to subscribe and know the awesomeness that is the fun of this show. And at least give us a thumbs up if you liked it. I'm, yeah. I'm like ready to get back to work, but then not. So I keep playing with my mouse. Okay. I'm calling it quits on this, just like <laughs> I do on that night. I'd love to spend the rest of the day with y'all, but we got stuff. We got do. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. Stay tuned tomorrow for the adventures of Liz and Rebecca. Straight up sideshow. Yay! And if there's any letters, dear Becky and Lizzie. See you tomorrow. Bye.